In this setback tutorial introduction, tutorial number one, we'll be looking at uh, creating profiles, create layers, strings, segments, and points. Uh, in the profiles, I'll show you how to create profile, um, add item to a profile, save a profile, and make that profile default. In the layer section, I'll show you how to make uh, a folder, a current working folder. Create a new layer, create a pin point, sorry, and save that layer. <coughs> um, in the create the point segments and strings, uh, I'll show you how to create points uh, by coordinates by using mouse, and then I'll show you how to edit and view the points and segments and strings. Uh, the definitions of uh, points, segments, strings, uh, I'll leave it to you guys, uh, you should have learned in the previous uh, tutorials or setback fundamentals. Okay, I'll start with uh, setback. Uh, my version of setback is 6.5.1. <coughs> so basically, uh, to set up a profile, at the moment, just uh, loaded the default setback profile, so I'll just go um, right click on the menu bar up there, and then there's a group of profiles that uh, I've already created. Uh, some I've customized them, like I've got my name there, but a profile that uh, mostly will be using in this design is mine design. So that brings up the default uh, uh, toolbars there and many bars. This one that I want to add, I'll right click again. I go to toolbars and then I go edit. That's one that I want to add. I want to add that one again. So I go toolbars and then I click on the create. Uh, that's from creating new points. Just drag it, line it up. Okay, that's how I said uh, add the uh, extra items on the tool, tool bars and menu bars. Uh, I want to save that uh, profile. I'll go save, and then I don't save that as my design, but I I can put a new name in, or I've already established one. I'll just go save as this uh, design tutorial one and go apply. It. I go back and then I go profiles and then I've set the profile as the default so that becomes my default if I close that back and come back on it loads the default okay that's that now I want to create um, the working folder folder I click on the folder in this uh, window here and then I've got a folder here, it goes uh, setback tutorial. And then I've got the introduction here, which I already labeled back. Just right click on it, I go set as default. That's how I'll make that uh, folder of default. Now I want to create a layer, save that uh, to that default. I'll go down the line and then I go to this uh, section of the window where it says layers and I'll go new. So I'll go and then it gives me this uh, option of entering the name of the layer I want to create. So I'll just go point create tutorial. Apply. Now it's got a tick at the end. So that shows that it's the current layer. Um, yeah, and then I can create a point. In this tutorial, I'll show you start off with um, creating points by coordinates. There's a spreadsheet uh, there that <coughs> has uh, coordinates in there which I want to add on to. So I open that. 
Um, I go to the menu bars up here, and then I go click on create uh, points. And there's all heaps of ways you can create them. Uh, yeah, these ones you learn them as you go in advance. But I'll start with, off with a simple one that is by coordinates. So uh, coordinates, a string number. In this you enter the string number, what the string you have. Uh, we'll just leave it as 3007. Okay. In here, I'll enter the values there, Y, X, and Z. Okay, I'll go back to my spreadsheet. I'll just go, just copy. Paste. Just right click. Now it's all Windows based, so. Right click. Paste the RL is the Z value, copy, paste. That's it. I want to enter. This is where that description field goes. Um, yeah, it says D1. So I want to label the point. I go. Uh, Point one uh, PT number zero one. Um, I can add that other field. I just right click here, and it gives me field two. I go put my initials in. <coughs> Apply. That's it. It's already gone, and you can see the red stuff here. That means that a point has been entered. Then it's waiting for me to enter the next uh, point. I go select this, paste. Later on, uh, when you get to advanced, uh, you'll be shown how you can easily import the CSV files. Then you don't need to do this manual entering. So I'll in. I level that point number two. My initial still says the same. Go apply. It's in. Okay, the third point. So stays the same. Uh, the fields or description fields go up to 100, so you can add up to 100 <coughs> points, but at this stage, not necessary. Just go apply. I need a three points, and I'll just close this. Cancel. Save this. Uh, it doesn't have the folder. Uh, when you, uh, if you're Default working folder is created, it just uh, basically saves that to the default working folder. So I'll just go apply. Mm, I can see at the moment uh, what I do is just uh, I go delete layer. This man, it, that doesn't mean you delete the layer from the working folder, but it basically delete the layers from that uh, window uh, or it gets it out from the window. So it goes out. Just go back, it's here, so you bring it back in. <laughs> At the moment, it's a um, level points number one, two, three. The style itself uh, hasn't been uh, brought in, so in order to load the style, I'll type style, load. I've got a pre setup style 
not working folder so I have to load that style uh, in the next tutorial I'll show you how to set up styles Go apply and then that brings the styles of that uh, string so that's how you create a point by enter a coordinates so I'll just save that okay I'll get rid of this I go back right click there and I go delete layer the next one is um, creating points by mouse I go create that click on create create digitize and I go new point or if you look below on the comment prompt you can just type D so what I do is I'll just you know click click and basically just created the points for me uh, so what I haven't done is created a new layer so what what it has done is save that into the main graphics layer that doesn't mean we are wrong I mean it can be done but just have to save it out so I go points by mouse and click apply so it's already saved here points by mouse uh, the other comment I'm going to show you is uh, you press this button here it's called reset graphics that means that it gets everything out from the working for a window it just clears everything even in this uh, layers window so at the moment it's uh, in this main graphics layer so when I click on this it just reset everything but I've already saved it so I'll bring this one back in and then I and what's the style hasn't been loaded I think the string is not appearing so I'll just load the style and see where it is the strings are there oh it's the, okay so what I do is um, the, the renumber the strings so that it becomes lines and you look up the menu bar it shows uh, renumber string it's this one here renumber segment so I basically click uh, renumber segment and then this is a segment so click that and make it uh, number one so that's it that's a set of lines what I do is I just close it in order to close it I click on this uh, you see it shows a closer segment so it closed the segment so that closes it um, just have it on plan view it's on plan view so I save that if I want to renumber if I want to move I just click on this move a point and then I just click and move again I click on this point move more move point so I click on that uh, command and then move uh, if I want to move the whole segment I click on this move segment at the bottom you can type that uh, sort SEGM and then you can move the segment around I want to delete a point I don't like one point there I click on delete point and just delete a point if I don't I'm not happy with the decision I made just go undo and I just connect it again um, 
what else um yeah um if i want to copy a point let's go copy copy this point so i try again if i want to copy a point i click here it says copy point what i do is sorry i'll try it again copy copy and then you put it there and then you go apply so it just uh, copies the point and puts it across uh, undo. if you want to display the point markers you go click on display go to points and then click markers it's the d1 field it will show the point numbers sorry markers only <coughs> so it's a small stars there Okay, you go again if you want to display the point numbers you click display point numbers okay now it's got uh, d1 field sorry not d1 but when you click apply it shows it's small but it shows uh, it goes one two that's seven and one and seven is end and one is start Three. Or if I renumber the string uh, segment, if I renumber the segment, it will show like the two. And then I go display again point numbers. Right. So it's up there and big. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the other thing I'm going to show you is uh, changing the direction of the numbers. At the moment, it's going clockwise. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, again, I can change the direction. It will the uh, number from uh, anti-clockwise. Oh, sorry. Different direction. So, I click on this function here. Reverse the order of points of a segment. So I click on this. And then it reverses it. Starts in an anti-clockwise direction. It's um, uh, that the direction comes into play when you are doing volumes, which you will learn in the advanced uh, in advanced uh, lesson or tutorial. Uh, that's four points, uh, and yeah, that's the end of the tutorial. Uh, thanks.